Well, Red massive. Bull can't think. <laughs> Red Bull can't. But what size? What? How many ounces? The eight or the twelve? I want it to be where I can't even wear a swimsuit because people are gonna be like, "Yo, yo, 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 you hanging? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you, you scaring all the kids? Yeah, I want to constantly be poking. Yeah. <laughs> Look like Gonzo in a ski mask. But man. How long do you want? <laughs> <laughs> gang, gang. Back off my broccolini. Get your life together. It is. Don't yeah. touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. <laughs> You know, mirroring yeah. exactly. Yeah. Like I put all, like you know, like the little things of that, and I'm just, you know, like a, it's like a, over, like a yeah. super impression of me over all of them, just like you know, making <laughs> podcasts hot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That'll be my. Oh, hey, Steve. Oh, damn, Steve. <laughs> oh, shit. Why you coming up that dick, dog? Yeah. What that dick do, baby? Oh, you wearing your wrestling shit? <laughs> <laughs> I like how the belly is a little <laughs> <laughs> soft. <laughs> Ooh, Steve, this is not flattering at all. Yeah, them, them high school days ran. Yeah, my high man. school body I got, I got gone. Tell me on me. How do I look though? I look, yeah, okay. tell me. You, look you look like you're ready to go, yeah, man. Yeah, you're ready to go. I feel like how, I want to get how, up. How much did you weigh when you wrestled in high school? Uh, I had to cut like down not to cutting. 103. Yeah, so 103, but what'd you walk around? Probably at? 117. And what do you weigh now? 130. Thirty-four. Oh, okay. Not too bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. one, two, one bad. seventeen is like a oh, dude. a Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> yeah, my <laughs> my five year old's gonna give you a handful, man. Yeah, yeah. one seventeen. Do I look okay though? For I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the well, thing is lit. Some, I can lose some. Of my you can gut. tone up a little bit. <laughs> what, what, yeah, what, what, parts, what part? I like your body what, shaming. What do you mean? What part? What part? What part? Yeah, take take a look. Does it does it bring back old memories of the wrestling days? Putting that thing on. It did when I was in the room. I I, I kind of got a little adrenaline rush. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got, got yeah. those you're, nerves. You, started ready, oh, you, yeah, ready, yeah. you were ready to go. That was yeah. the most like kind of nervous I would get. Like for sure. You know what I mean? Like before a bout, like yeah. a dual meet yeah. or Anxiety even for CIF or yeah. Masters before you go to state. Those are the most. I'll have, to bring Nerve my, I'll have to bring my high school basketball pictures in. Oh, damn. Yeah. What position yeah. did you play? See, I, well, I, I, went to a small I don't look high like school, that so anymore. I was like a forward. See, that was. I think I have one on my and Instagram. That, and that's. Uh, oh, that's Bob. On the left with the. Yeah, with the that was top. Bob. Yeah. Look at Bobby. Oh, he was ripped. <laughs> he was a dive piece. <laughs> Bob was what? Yeah. <laughs> He's all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> look, check him out. So, uh, Man. Look at you, too, though. But Steve still sort of looks like that. Yeah, he does. You know well, that, what I mean? No, that was a lot skinnier there. No, no, no. But you still, I mean, you could see. I can see pounds. you getting in that shape right now. Yeah, we could do really? that. If you, if you oh, took yeah. some time, you could get in this shape. Bobby's no, done. Dude, that was a long <laughs> yeah, time Bobby's. ago, Brandon and Eric. That was a long time ago. No, no, no. no you that was in that. the 90s. See, yeah, but you could do that, though. 2021. What are you guys talking about? Bro, you're only, about? what, 20 pounds away from that? Yeah, man. And I you don't do anything? Well, I eat one meal a day. Oh, mad. No, but we're talking about physique. We're not talking about, yeah, talking about like, I mean, working out. I live out. by running. What if I hike up, you know, start yeah, hiking up running? That's a start. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm Coconut I gotta water. Get, I got to get my shit together. God, you look man. good, man. Yeah, it's uh, kind of in response to last week's discussion. Yeah, we you said, guys are stirring up the pot. Huh, <laughs> me and my brother. What are you guys what, doing? What, what, we said who would win in a fight? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you guys made a whole post about it. I'm trying to get in with, like, I hardly see the guy anymore. <laughs> now you guys are our champions. You're too busy. What? You're too busy. No, like, he's too busy. You know, you're both busy. Yeah, you guys are kissing toads and, you know what I mean? What are you talking about? I want to, I don't want to. I love my brother. So 62% said Stevie would beat him up? Yeah, I, I do think, I mean, it came from the King of the Sting Instagram, so it might be a little biased of our our, our fans. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Everybody's doing these boxing matches. Like, we got to set oh, something up. Oh, yeah. You guys I could print money. I would love money. to see that. Oh, you guys could goodness. wrestle. So you what don't about, because Theo hit me up. He, he wanted me to bring up a couple things. What about me and you doing a wrestling match? Steve, I will. <laughs> Kick your ass. <laughs> I, know, I know you would. I know you would. I know you don't, would. Don't let, no, my, no. don't let my soft demeanor no, fool but, you. But if there's weight class. He has that, no, he has that dad strength. strength yeah, yeah, man. Only if he came down to my weight class. What? So That's you'd, impossible. You'd have to cut his leg off. I've, exactly. Well, how much do you weigh? I mean, you don't. I've never been 100 anything. So you're Dude, over I was your size pounds. in seventh what grade, Stevie. Do you I, think that's a good idea? In high school, I was 170, 175 pounds was the yeah, skinniest man. I've ever been. So you would that's have to not cut fair. a lot of weight. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to cut all the weight. I would have Don't to cut an idea? entire person, Steve. <laughs> but, but, dude, I think that would be a good But, Steve, challenge. you have you have some advantages. You're quicker, so yeah. you don't need to cut weight. No, I'm not going to be able to catch you, but if once I get you, I'm, Ooh, I'm just dropping on yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know that. But 
he told me to bring it up. Hilarious. <laughs> Why is he trying to stir the pot from from Tennessee? How about <laughs> <laughs> how about how about you and Theo go at it, man? Because mm-hmm. Theo does some jujitsu, fancy himself a. Uh, well, how much does Theo weigh? Because you know weight does probably matter. One seventy, one eighty. He might be all two, ass. He might be two ten. Nah, he, yeah, he's all ass. <laughs> yeah, Theo's all ass and head. Theo's got a fat ass. He has a giant head, baby, giant baby ass. Baby got backs. Yeah, baby got backs. backs. He's, he's cheeked got up. On those cheeks. He's not here today because he's murdering fish. He got really into fishing. <laughs> okay. What do we got here? King and a sting it or what's uh, no, the deal? No, so uh, <laughs> we actually had some fans weigh in on who the, who they think would win Ooh. and why. Ooh. Uh, let's see this guy. He said, "Don't judge him." He he sent this in at like three in the morning. He was hammered. <laughs> yeah. This is what Jesus looks like now. God, no. I would eat Steve in order to be famous. Steve he he wouldn't. Him. Yeah. He said, here, let's slow. Is it even a question? Bob, Bob would eat Steve in order to be famous. <laughs> Steve wouldn't. <laughs> he uh, say, he's saying Bob would go literally do anything. Yeah. I like this guy. You know? <laughs> I think he knows what he's talking about. Keep playing these. I love how and Theo, Eric, Stevie, I think hands down in a fight. My man Stevie Weeby's going to take it from Bobby. Grab him by the nuts. Give him that crazy look. That's it. Stevie got this. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Yeehaw, baby. Oh, damn. Uh, Would you grab him by the nuts, Stevie? Is, is yeehaw, this is a great. I love yeah, today. I, today's cool. <laughs> I'm expecting very well. yeehaw. Out Keep of that. doing yeah. what you're doing. I love, this. <laughs> I love what you're doing. I love her. Keep going. G'day boys, it's Skojo from Down Under. I reckon in the fight between Stevie and Bobby, obviously uh, you'd think Bobby would come out on top, probably end up sitting on Stevie's face. But the good thing about Stevie is he'd probably like it. Suck the soul right out of him. It doesn't matter really who wins because Bobby gets to go home to that dime bag he's sitting on. So uh, everyone's a winner in that fight. This guy's bringing gang, gang, good. butt muffler. All right, timestamp that. <laughs> time, no, sir, time stamp time that stamp and that. delete that. Okay. Yeah. I don't, what, I don't need that visual. I don't need that. that visual of Steve eating Bobby's butt. Yeah. <laughs> no. Seriously. Right, we got one more. Shout out to Australia, though. Boy, this guy oh. got the whole, hold up. This guy <laughs> got the whole <laughs> gamut on. UFC shirt, <laughs> ESPN hat. <laughs> it, it looks like it's all swag, too. Like, he got yeah. it in, yeah. like, you know, free yeah, shirt. Yeah, bag. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like some kind he of He won some giveaway. Yeah. 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 So we're wearing Bravo television gym shorts. Yeah. <laughs> he has a f- fight pass wristbands on and shit. <laughs> Yo, what's going on with that Baton Rouge baddie with the fatty Theo Vaughn? Both you, Brendan. Actually, just saw you in San Jose, man. Almost called USADA. I just want to give a quick little shout out to both uh, Montez and uh, Nick as well. Go Pat, go. Uh, the reason I'm making the video though is because our homie Stevie, man, that dude would beat the shit out of Bobby Lee, man. The reason being is he's just smarter. You know, we kind of see what he did in the movie The Goonies, the way he uses his brain. <laughs> Thank you, um, guy. This guy's the best. <laughs> I freaking love yeah, Steve, this guy. That, that, Steve now did, this guy didn't even really hear that part. <laughs> yeah. You know what's this hilarious right now? Steve ever, missed dude. the part. No, he he knows knows the no, no, hold up. No, he knows Steve, what he's talking about. Steve, you missed the part where he called you the guy from Goonies. <laughs> Goonies. I don't mind that. I'm used, to, I'm used to short round. I'm used to. I know his name, Data. Same guy. It's short round. Data, Data same dude. <laughs> I respect him. And his name was Keyquan. I'm a fan. Oh man! <laughs> okay. It seems like the majority, obviously, it's a little biased because it's our our fans. But everyone thinks you'd beat the shit out of Bobby. Well, we have to ask. Uh, you know what? I'm no, at? but this I is because well, Bobby's a little defense, out of shape. No, but the thing is, that he has a that little? psychological <laughs> older brother. You know what? Th- that means something. I feel you. You know what I mean? You have a brother. Yeah. Oh, my brother. I was you know like what I mean? He's got that. Uh, against him. Yeah, the yeah, psychological he just has that older brother shit. <laughs> yeah. Did Bobby used to whoop oh, your ass growing up? Yeah, me too. He'd whoop my ass. I won one fight against him. Oh, Bob would just whoop my ass. Yeah, there's What's well, different now? Well, I got a lot of rage in me. I know. Is there any, <laughs> I'm just saying, is there any resentment? Steve, is there any part of you now that's like, do you ever think about it when things are going on? You think, maybe I need to like get one in just to like let him know things are different. What do you mean by that? Like, you know what he means. Like, and is it success? No, I'm like, tar- like revenge? Yeah, yeah. Oh, if that were to happen, it wouldn't be like, hey, dude, meet me on the street. It would be like planned out. Like bombs. Like you'd like shank <laughs> Like bombs. Like hitting. Like a car t- bomb? Like a drone? <laughs> it would be. I feel like you're a droner. Be, you're be a droner. Rifles yeah. involved. Jesus, no, Steve. Just, <laughs> Sounds like you thought about this, man. Yeah. yeah. Got a, like Steve got a whole scenario in his head. I'll it wouldn't be I'll like, start. meet me off third. I'd be like, drone, blow him <laughs> no, up. No, I do fantasize he's leaving the house. like, if I were rich, I'd buy the house like above his. And then I would just throw eggs at his pool. Like, yeah! I'm above 
<laughs> brother. <laughs> I just throw it. Brother. Today's King and the Sting is brought to you by Athletic Greens. It's important to be healthy. That's my boy George over here. Look at George. Swolled up, man. Swolled up, George. And listen, he got there with a little help from Athletic Greens. They can help. Their daily all-in-one superfood powder is by far the easiest, most delicious nutritional habit that you can add to your health routine today. All right? Take ownership of your health. One tasty-ass scoop of, of Athletic Greens contains 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food source ingredients, including multivitamins, multiminerals, probiotics, green superfood blend, and so much more. Athletic Greens got you covered, man. All you got to do, simply visit athleticgreens.com slash cats. That's athleticgreens.com slash K-A-T-S and join the health experts, athletes, health conscious, big boys, thick boys, comedians, podcasters, athletes, whoever it is. They're all about health with Athletic Greens. Athleticgreens.com slash K-A-T-S. Get your free year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs today. Week one might be over, but the season is just getting started. Kids, DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL and UFC to kick off week two. DraftKings is giving new customers $200 in free bets instantly when they bet $1 at any football game. Listen up, because you don't want to miss this. Week two, head to the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Place a bet on $1 on any week two game to receive $200 in free bets instantly. If Sportsbook is not available in your state, DraftKings still has huge cash prizes up for grabs all season long with their daily fantasy contests. DraftKings is giving all new customers a free shot at millions of dollars in total prizes with their first deposit. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use the promo code KATS to receive $200 in free bets when you place a $1 bet on any Week 2 football game. That's promo code KATS this week's at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports better partner of the NFL. Must be 21 or older, New Jersey, Indiana, Pennsylvania. Only You're 22, right? Mm-hmm. You're good to go, dog. New, <coughs> new customers only. Minimum $5 deposit. $1 wager required. One per customer. Restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call call 1-800-GAMBLER or in Indiana 1-800-9-WITH-IT. <laughs> you, you, were you an only child? Yeah, I was an only child. So you don't know. Yeah, I don't know how. This, I don't Brandon know anything knows. about this. Nothing. Yeah. You know, it's just like it was just like people at my high school or whatever. Yeah. If you have like little beefs with people, but it was never like that kind of closeness that you love and love and hate, hate them. Yeah. 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 But when you grow older, you know you. That just Nick, favorite. you had an older sister, right? Two older sisters, and yeah. Would they beat the shit out of you? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah really? Yeah. And then I finally got big enough when I was like seventh grade, and they're like seniors, juniors. Like, can't hit a girl. I, 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 I like, I like put my sister in an arm lock, arm lock, because I, I watch a lot of wrestling, Tell and I you. hurt her arm, and then we never fought again. Because I felt you know really, really bad. That? As an only child from a single parent, with my mom, I remember when my mom couldn't spank me anymore. Like, I remember like the day. That, you know, she tried to hit me with something, and I was like, ow. Yeah, come on. I was like, Mom, yeah. that, I, we're yeah. done with this. <laughs> well, in middle school? We're done. Yeah, you know this. You know this Because <laughs> yeah. I remember the time she was like, go, kids, and I, I had to grab my mom by the arms. Yeah. You know, I was like, Mom, and I did like this. I was like, Mom, please stop. <laughs> this thing you do shit. It doesn't even Please stop. Anymore. Sit down. And then yeah. my mom went like this, what are you going to do? <laughs> like, what? Yeah. I was like, I'm not going to do anything. But it's like, yeah. you need to stop. Like, my mom used to go in. There's other ways to go about this. Yeah. I remember there used to be, like, this tree in, the, in our backyard. And she would make me get a switch off the tree to spank me with it. God damn. Yeah, it was, was your mom Adrian Peterson? Yeah, it was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, and, then, and so like I remember I'll never forget like she was like, Go out there and go get me something that you know and you couldn't come back with like a little I already I'd already done that. Deal. I yeah. had to come back with like and I'm, a and real, I, I'm yeah, out there that, testing it. Oh, yeah. this is gonna hurt, you know. Oh, but then I, I went back there and they had cut the tree down. You know, You're like whoops. So, so I had to come back in, and I was scared. To, you know, and then when I told her they cut it down, we both started laughing, that's and funny. I was like, "Oh, I didn't get a beaten." Yeah, and I was like, "Ooh, I think that's one of the first times I thought I can get away with stuff with humor, being funny." Yeah, yeah. And then we used to have this little hallway that we, you know, it was like two doors at the end, and we could like I could run around like this. So she would chase me when she wanted to give me a spanking, and then I remember that time too. She started laughing. We were laughing, running. Right. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And then it was like there was no spanking, you know. And it was like, oh, okay, this there's something to this. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is weird as a parent. I remember my brother was such a bad kid, and he was talking shit about my stepmom to my dad. We we're at Cherry Creek Mall, and he was like 16. You're not gonna spank a 16 year old. My dad straight up pushed him into a glass wall. I was like, I will fuck you up. <laughs> Like, you're 16 now. We, I will straight up fight you. And I was like, oh, damn, dad ain't fucking around anymore. Yeah. Well, you're yeah. older brother? Yeah, older brother. 
Sometimes yeah. you need. I mean, you need that. Oh my god! I was like, hey, I don't know the time. Hey, motherfucker! Too. Yeah, there's no spanking. We're gonna fight. Yeah, sometimes. Oh, you, just you know, gotta... Bob fought my dad at one. Oh, one really? Time. Yeah. How'd that go? Your dad whooped his ass. It was during. He was like in and out of rehab, and they're fighting in the hallway. And then I just heard commotion in the hallway. And I'm like, whoa, this, what's going on? And I open the door, and they're doing like flying. Mao Tai Ni, <laughs> they're like doing flying Dad was like fucking Liu like, Kang, like, yeah, like backing yeah. each other up in the hallway. Fuck. And I'm like, that's when I re- like I gain respect for Bob. I'm like, oh, he's like fighting back. Yeah, but I gain yeah, more no, respect for your dad. Beat our asses, like, R- Woody. Beat downs, beat downs. Chin, you had an older brother used to beat your ass. He beat me up like twice, and then I never messed with him again. Then you called your gang yeah. members. No, like, do it again, dog. <laughs> oh, that's what it was. Do it again. It no, was his brother, they drove up on. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> no, but he bloody your nose up. Uh, he's actually pretty cool. He would, I would hit, try to hit him in the face. He would just hit me in the body. Uh, he knew, he, 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 he knew he'd fuck me up. Yeah, he knew he'd fuck me up. Just break a quick rib, you know, he was cool. Oh, yeah. He knew what was going on. He knew he was bigger than you and could beat you He up. knew he could beat me up. He knew he could beat up a lot of people too. That's he was very, guy. Yeah. Was he a big dude? Uh, he's actually smaller than me, but oh, he's just but he's wide. Yeah, yeah, super wide. Is he in prison now? No, he's actually. He built like Chung Lee. Chief executive director of IT. Damn. Oh, wow. All right. Take it easy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's built like what, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Calm down. <laughs> All right. Calm down. He said jail. <laughs> I had to protect my brother. Fighting, well, we just know jail. your history. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we know your gang Not me history. The people around me The people around yeah. me Chief yeah. IT director at San Quentin You mean <laughs> <laughs> He worked his way up yeah, He got his degree like Malcolm X he got his, yeah. <laughs> Hurricane Carter Chief finance officer for the <laughs> <laughs> Was it an Asian gang? What Asian what, what are these Asian What Asian gang? What do you mean? Like Like, like who What friends Was it like the gang? Like, like what? No so None of those There's a gang Well I don't want to mention any gang names, obviously. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Just but it was like that thing. Filipinos and Koreans. It was very mixed. Filipinos and Koreans. Oh. oh. Ficos. But what was the name of it? <laughs> there, there's names. There's na- <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you, you later. Say the name. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, just, you could erase that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, care. They're going to be like, why yeah. are you snitching? I know. <laughs> okay. Talking on the show. <laughs> okay, so. Let's get to these and, titties. Yeah. And segue <laughs> to Britney Spears. So, a couple weeks ago, uh, people always send me this too. Uh, th- we saw thirsty Theo. Theo. Yeah, Theo getting thirsty in the comments, and he was at it again. She's some tits on her, dog. Yeah, she's what she's now. Now she's like you know. Well, now she's sex, free from her dad. Old broad now, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yam yam. Yam yam. <laughs> yam, yam. He's trying so hard. <laughs> and she's got to notice because he gets so many likes on the post. You, you know what does yam yam mean? Her tits. Oh. You, you know what's hilarious, though, is like, I actually think I can <laughs> see COVID. Theo and Britney Spears getting together. 100%. Oh, he could you know definitely do that. Like, it, and, and Theo would nonchalantly just, be like, yeah, man, last week I was with Britney Spears' house, man. He'll do that all the time. Yo, he gets crazy <laughs> ass. He'll do it all the time. He gets crazy ass. No, but it's not even about that. It's about those two personalities, I think, would, <laughs> <laughs> oh, would dude, oh, you yeah. mean, well. You mean two crazies getting together? You know I mean? Yeah. He'd have her put the, the Catholic school sh- thing on. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. And she'd be up that. for Do that oops again, girl. Yeah, do that do oops for me. <laughs> He's told a story about how one time he was staying at, I believe it was Lindsay Lohan's hotel, and he slipped a note under her door. <laughs> At the hotel. What are you, 13? <laughs> She's like, oh, my God. I mean, she got a whole – remember that list she put out? Remember how she was, like, like telling everybody all the dudes that she slept oh, with? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, man. Lindsay Lohan had a whole list. She, she it, was like, bad, it was like man. Ryan Phillippe or, like, that kind of – those Yo, kind of people. Sure. It was like how many was, dudes were on it? Oh, a lot. It was, like, a lot of famous dudes. Stars, Why yeah. did she write that list? I don't know. She was just bragging. Good for her. These are all the people that have been in me. Theo wasn't on the list? <laughs> Yeah, uh, we'll we'll check it out. But she is engaged, evidently. Yeah, yeah, she's engaged. Oh, Theo's gonna be broken hearted. Oh man, Theo yeah. could take that guy. <laughs> I don't know. I What's don't that know. guy oh, do? He looks like a. He's an actor, right? He's like some kind of or sort of famous actor. Is he? Yeah, I don't. I think he's like a model. That's it. But her her dad uh, doesn't have conservative ship anymore, right? Well, you know, this is what I think happened. So they trying to get him out, right? So he actually petitioned. To end the conservatorship for her. You know and why? Because they're looking at litigation. No, I, I think it's like this, too. I think she said to him, hey, listen, they're going to kick you out, and you're going to be on the streets. And once I get out of this conservatorship, I'm not giving you nothing. Yep. You, you, you're going to be out of my life forever. So now, why don't you uh, petition to get this done, and then, you know, you can still be my, da- my dad. And See, what, what I know heard what I mean? is the, the firm that, sh- that her dad hired to, like, run her Instagram and do all the publicity – they have the intention, they do it. This is what they do to make her look crazy. Yeah. So they run her social media and stuff like that. And they found out that the dad and the mom were just siphoning money from her. 
Like just taking. Of money. course. So she's gonna sue the fuck out. Well, that happens all the back. time in Hollywood. Well, oh, here's the thing though: that money's Macaulay gone. Holly Culkin, all yeah, that. Yeah, true. They ain't siphoning in the money to save it. It's not in a four hundred one k. No. That stuff is in like he probably got it on his wrist. Yep. It's probably in their house and all this kind of stuff. Yep. They, they, they probably got expenses now. Yep. They probably yeah, live in a lifestyle sure. where they need that money. That shit's gonna stop. And she's like, nah, cut them off. Hey, I, this, I think is, this is a this travesty. Is list, this right is Lindsay Lohan's list. Yeah. Why are some of the names real. blurred out? I'm assuming they're not famous people. Just Colin guys. Colin Farrell, Justin Timberlake. Oh, these are heavy hitters. God, if you're not a famous person, like, damn, why did I <laughs> erase my name? On? Yeah. I was underneath Justin Timberlake. No, I just gonna be like, well, you know, I'm number ten. Yeah. <laughs> Who's Nico I'm twelve. <laughs> Way, right? <laughs> How do you know? Uh, oh, Heath Ledger. <laughs> These are all heavy hitter uh, actors. Yeah. Uh, well, she Franco, was dope at a time. Zach you know what I mean? Yeah. During Mean Girls. Romer. Is it, now yeah. is that Jay Phoenix, Joaquin Phoenix? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Who are these other guys? Max George. Who are these other dudes? I don't know. I know. Adam Levine. Adam Levine. Nico. Which one's Adam Levine? He's a uh, you know the uh, the on on the voice Maroon Five Maroon Five. The oh shit! Yeah. So, yeah. It's hilarious. That's I know him more one. from the voice yeah. than, than Maroon Five. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. They, they have a list like this. Solid list. Solid list. Yeah, yeah but when you her f- man now is like goddamn. <laughs> but when you famous <laughs> like that though, when you famous like that, you you around other famous people, they're always like intertwining. For and, sure. You're on you know, yeah, or yeah, you're not getting some regular and craft foods and a dick suck. You know. Yeah, what she's just like yo, good for her. Yeah, I know. I don't hate. We're her. not. I mean, think of dudes. Think of, I wonder Dudes what Justin Timberlake's list look like. You know the difference? Oh my Justin God. Timberlake's list will be like, you know, Shelly from CVS. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, he yeah. rolls out a parchment. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it's all it's like model, Kelly model, Postmates. model, model. Yeah. Fine chick I used to yeah. know. It's like <laughs> <laughs> Dude's lists are completely different. Besides some uh, good Kinger Stingets and debate clubs, we got some updates from some fans that have been on the show we'll get to later. But first we'll get to some weekend news. I, I remember this little dimey. Yeah, this is. We try to hook her up with the firefighter, mm-hmm. and she went with that one dude from uh, Ooh, Minnesota. Her, who's this? Oh, is this her? Well, she don't, her. Wow, I no, don't recognize her. her. That's her. Really? Got her here. Mm-hmm. Oh, she looks different. Now. The first ever contestant on the Cats dating game. Oh, oh is she wow. giving us an update? Yeah, yeah, and she threw out a debate club at the end. But the update is really the interesting part. Oh, let's hear it. King of the Sting, Theo, Brennan, Eric, and Stevie. I'm happy to be on the show again with another relationship update. Uh-oh. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing from me. She's pregnant. But finally, after months of some super freaky DMs on Instagram, Sorry. I got Sorry a random that. text from the love of my life, Parker, my ex-boyfriend, and... Here I am. All right. And we've never been happier. That was the guy. <laughs> we yeah. just got engaged last oh. week, and oh, we are what? super oh. excited. So, wish us the best. Cool. Thank you. But anyways, we have a little Closet? bit of a debate club. Uh, yeah, before we get into it. Debate your... club. Getting engaged, knowing each other for two months. No, no, no. <laughs> this isn't the guy that we had on the show. This was her original boyfriend that didn't want to wife her up. Oh. So she she went on the show. He must have caught word. She said she he wasn't a fan, but uh, yeah, he... He, oh, he ever- must have been like, what? All these interests? <laughs> oh, and my, good what? for them. He looked oh, at her wow. in a completely oh, different way. Them. He lost it and well, was like, you first know what? Yeah, oh, man. Now we also see the kind of guy she likes. Yep. I mean, this dude is like... Frickin Alpha? Fucking Thor. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> and he evidently drove 10 hours. Damn, he dropped the ring? Damn. Damn, doggy. You want to read that caption? It says, after a 10-hour drive surprising her here, she said, yes, I love you so much. Oh, that's sweet. Good grief. Good Damn. For them. Look at that ring. See, cats, making it happen, Doug. I like to think that was us. Yep, all yeah, all of us. Well, for sure, because we that put that her on the market. <laughs> yeah, and he you was know like, what, I mean? what the fuck? Yeah. Like, how do you think this can go Black dudes was trying to get her. <laughs> Weird dudes, dudes was trying to get her. Dudes. Fat dudes. Everybody was like. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone slanging dick at her. And he's like, hell no. <laughs> he seems like a good dude. Glad it worked out. Yeah. yeah. Good for him. Good for you. both of them. All but right. anyways, we have a little bit of a debate club for you guys. Which do you care less about? The Met Gala or the VMAs? Personally, I didn't know what the hell the Met Gala was until Savannah just explained it to me. Oh, wow. So I could care less about the Met Gala. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think? Also rip some of these drips for us. I could care less about. Um, I, I, like I could care less about either of them, one of them. Yeah. Well, I do watch the VMAs from start to finish. Really? To be honest, yeah, I can't you see McGregor on. almost get a fight with Machine Gun yep. Kelly. On the- Listen, the Met Gala for tax the rich hilarious. Here's the thing with this: 
The Met Gala, they always wear shit that you could never wear. Any, you can you just wear it once. Well, what f- is it? What like, is where's it Pete Davidson going to wear that again? Where the fuck you going to wear that dress again, dude? But what is it? What is it for? Met Gala is like the big fashion. Like, I think it's oh, $55,000 it's a table. Mm, something like it's that. It's like so expensive. It's just a fashion show to have rich people jerk each other. Yeah. But the rich people wear shit like, like they're wearing f- horns with diamonds on. Yeah. Like, you're never going to wear that it's again. It's like a high, well, high fashion is like you never see high fashion yeah. ever. That correlates to the real world? Yeah, never. Nah, never. It's crazy. To that. And look, look at look AOC at tax like, the rich. Doing? Meanwhile, she's rich, and she paid fifty five grand to be there. So they just wear the outfit once. That's yeah, J Lo. I mean, God damn, J Lo killing it. Mm-hmm. Fifty. Okay, she looks stunning. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, look at <laughs> hey, those hey, legs. Hey. Fifty. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm all in. I'm all in. That just, it just goes to show, banging. like you know, when you got money, like <laughs> I wonder how much she spends on her it. body, like getting herself, you know, trainers, Millions. chefs. Millions. Uh, you know what I mean? She got probably got a cryo. She, she probably a got an oxygen thing in her dude, place. Does she look good or what? Yeah, AOC looks Fabulous. good too. Come She's on, just crazy. Dude, they all look good. But. And then and then uh, Kim Kardashian, she owes us to do something super crazy. What does she do? Like Let's everybody see. else dresses all normal, and she's like, you know what? I'm gonna take another level. Dude, I don't know how many Bring times. Bring up her shit, Nick. I don't Which know one? why. Kim, the, Kim the one in the black oh, mask. Yeah. I don't know why the, the Kardashians get so much hate. Like Kim Kardashian, she ain't regular fine. She fine. How she fine, fine is she? Oh, fine. Yeah. Is she really that fine? Yeah, man. She, she, just some of it. she got something about her. Hey, let me see her butt. You know what? You know what's tough though. Crazy butt. Let me see the butt. <laughs> Easy. See the Kardashian butt. Okay. You, you calm know what? Down. You okay. know what? You know what's weird though is with Travis Scott uh, <laughs> getting with Kylie Jenner, yeah. right? She fine well, too. <laughs> now, now, now. But God don't play that plastic surgery and shit like that. Like remember, she was a basic ass white girl before all these surgeries. Then Travis Scott has a baby with her. That baby comes out doesn't look nothing like her. She had so much work done. <laughs> Who wore it better? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, man. That's just for publicity, right? They want attention. She, yeah, she'll do anything for me. fame. Yeah, yeah. 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 Tax the rich. Tax the rich. Meanwhile, the rich pay for yeah. all your taxes. Exactly. Yeah. That's what Kim wore. Okay, okay so that's okay. kind of weird. And Kanye <laughs> wore the same thing. That? Like, they got a weird relationship, huh? The weirdest. You know? Yeah. You think they still booty calling every now and then? Oh, yeah. Imagine showing up to an event like this. Do they have normal butts, or they get? Um, do they get They're operations? Fake. They're fake. No, all full. So operations. how do they get their butts bigger? Do they inject some kind inject of stuff? Inject fat. In it? They take fat from oh. their tummies and put it in their ass. Okay. Damn, I just want to do that, but I put it all in my dick. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, just a big fat ass dick that I can't even just, control. Just, <laughs> yeah, well, yes. How, it's how, gonna be like. <laughs> just, 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 you know just what I mean? Just, just take it all, inches? take it all from my belly and just jam it down to my like dick. Like this thick, Stevie. Like this Is it thick. better to have thick or long th- length? Both. So pole. you want girth and length? Yeah, Doug. No. I think, uh, but I think that I think women. Well, you should put a poll for that because I think women would say thickness over length. They don't want because yeah, it's real long and skinny like a Twizzler. You ain't doing shit. Yeah, you're gonna hurt so somebody's you want, insides. How, how <laughs> thick do you want it though? I mean, you know, like. No, I don't know. I'm like, not like, asking like, a big like dog. Red Bull can thick. <laughs> like a Red Bull like a, can. You know well, the Red I Bull. Think this, uh, you don't want the like eight inch or the twelve inch can. Mean. Dude, liquid death so, thick. Dude, that's yeah. too much. <laughs> you think that's too much? Yeah, that, <laughs> so is that a? You want a Red Bull size? can <laughs> thick? You Red Bull can. But what size? What? How many ounces? The eight or the twelve? I want it to be where I can't even wear a swimsuit because people are gonna be like, yo, 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 you hanging? Yo, no, you scaring all the kids. Yeah, I want to constantly be poking. Look like Gonzo in a ski mask. But how long do you want? How long do you want it? What's too long? In, Over in, twelve inches? Oh, oh dude, that's insane! Yeah, what are you gonna do with that? Kill star? somebody with that? I, you, if, if, if it's if it's <laughs> thick enough, as long as you're around six, I'd say. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, is that right. good? Six? I mean, I don't know. Talk what to about five and a half? Is yeah, that okay? We, got, we got to get the we have to get the we have to get the female cats uh, people to like let us know. Is five and a half okay? <laughs> look okay. at look okay. at this motherfucker, dude. dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, where are you gonna wear? This, where are you gonna wear that again? This dude is where the fuck this dude is gonna wear fabulous. He is great. he is just fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Like good for him. He's le- he's leaning into this stuff. Oh, so boy, he has so all much. the sugar in his. That face. takes guts, man. He's really doing it. Does it? Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> Does it? How can you walk? That's in that his thing. thing. <laughs> Does it? Yeah, this dude's a queen of England right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, I see a lot of you bros at my shows. A lot of you are losing some hair. You're not losing your hair, dude. George, you look good, dude. You got a full set of hair. A lot of people aren't so fortunate, man. Two out of three bros will experience some form of hair loss by the time that they're 35. More than 50 million dudes in the U.S. suffer from male pattern baldness. Thank God for Keeps. Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair. All right? Slow-cost treatments are just $10 per month. 
All right, discreet little package, shows up to the crib, nobody has to know, proven results, keeps us more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. Prevention is the key here, kids. Treatment can take four to six months to see results, so act right now. If you're ready to take action, prevent your hair from leaving so you look like George Costanza, go to go to K-E-E-P-S dot com slash cats to, get, to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's keeps dot com slash cats to get your first month free. K-E-E-P-S dot com slash cats. Listen, man, there's always something to celebrate, but you got to do it the right way. Y'all, a lot of y'all buying them fake diamonds out there. You don't need to do that anymore, man, because thanks to BlueNile.com, you can celebrate all of life's special moments from engagement rings, all right, lifetime pieces. It's not going to break the bank because we got you covered, man. Uh, with your customized engagement ring like my boy Eric Griffin, all right, you want some diamond stud errands to flex on some of these kids out there, BlueNile.com, you're in control. We got you covered, man. Again, build the engagement ring of her dreams. Just don't go to the store, get any old ring. Customize that bad bitch. Do it, man. Life special moments with fine jewelry. They have a vast selection of preset diamond gemstone jewelry. Blue Nile offers endless options ready to ship the same day. We got you covered, man. BlueNile.com is the original online jeweler since 1999. They've helped millions of couples create their perfect engagement ring. So that could be you, man. Again, if it doesn't come out perfect, no problem. 100 satisfaction guaranteed. Shop stress-free with guaranteed free shipping returns, all right? Uh, make the moment sparkle with jewelry from BlueNow.com. And King of the Sting listeners and viewers get 50 bucks off this, uh, 500 bucks. This is a podcast exclusive, exclusive offer includes engagement. Use code KATS. That's code CATS. Plus, every order is insured, ships free, arrives in a discreet little package that won't give away what's inside. Shop stress free. Find your forever peace. Go to BlueNow.com today. Uh, she's got a debate club. Uh, okay. she, she's been on here before, right? Yeah, she, she mentions it. Guys, long time no see. It is Jesse from Cleveland, and I came back down from the pole to bring you a debate. Yeah, she's a stripper. That's right. Lord now, I know y'all had to have seen that video of McGregor and MGK Sweet. going at it on the red carpet, and I've got to ask, between the two, who do you think is the bigger star? Ooh. I might have said McGregor before, but lately, Losses. MGK just seems like he keeps winning and Crushing can't be it. stopped and literally has America's hottest chick wrapped around his finger. Yeah. And then McGregor is over here, like, kind of going off the rails a bit. It seems like he's dabbling a little too hard in the blow cane, yeah. if you ask me. <laughs> and he okay. was the one who went up to MGK, allegedly, for the photo before shit hit the fan. So I might be a little biased since I'm a Cleveland girl myself, but oh, right. I, I want to hear it from y'all. Um, you gonna go with that Eastside Cleveland Wild Boy, or are you gonna go with the notorious MMA? I know I'm not over here drinking the proper twelve, so <laughs> let's hear it from y'all. What a Cheers, great boys. submission! Yeah. Yeah. Buzz, she's buzz. great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Good with the, with MJ MGK thing and Conor McGregor, so just so you guys know, so there's rumors that they're both at the red carpet. The rumor is that. Connor asked for uh, Megan Fox a picture. picture. Yep. Well, and yeah. MGK was like, no, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. And then his bodyguards, like, you know, got all crazy, bumped into Connor, spilled a drink. That's when Connor's like, fuck this. And he's a fighter. Yeah. yeah. Like, you're bringing a, vite, a pit he, bull he, to a red carpet. He, he can do threw, some pit bull shit. He yeah. threw a freaking dolly uh, yeah. at a bus. Correct. Oh, he broke the window, too. Yeah. yeah. So, I look, who's more famous? Uh, Connor. Connor. Connor McGregor. Worldwide. And, and, and you know why, too? That's the only reason why we're talking about this. Correct. You know if that what I mean? was some random, or if that was like Adam Levine, yeah, it wouldn't like, matter. It would be like they but, would. It would just be like you know, stars fight. But the reason why we're even mentioning it, or even like because it's a debate, is it the headlines all over. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, it's crazy. You guys watch the interviews after they they interview individuals. No, yeah, I, I watch it all. They asked. Dude, Connor uh, denied Michigan. everything. He's like, I don't know what happened. No, like, Connor he, was like, I don't know the. Dude. I don't know he the dude. He's like, take a picture with him. He's like, I don't know the yeah, dude. He called him like. He's like, I, all I know is he's a what he said a. Uh, Vanilla white boy yeah, rapper yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Megan Fox. I, I I know Megan Fox. <laughs> that's what he said. <laughs> yeah, but how about that? Who's more famous, Machine Gun Kelly or Megan Fox? Uh, Megan Fox. Well, as a combination. Megan Fox has been famous forever. Yeah. yeah she's been famous for a minute. She's bad. She's still fine. I like Machine Gun with Kelly, kids. too. I think Kelly yeah. won because he she kept got kids his composure. With, she got kids yeah. with someone else. 90210 boy. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, 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 Sean Austin. Yeah. Green. Brian. Brian yeah, Austin. Yeah. Brian, Brian Austin. Austin yeah. yeah. yeah I know. So. You want to set this up? In five round, I got my money. No way. No. Connor would take him down. Just, just because of experience. Yeah. But this is, my, this is why I brought this point I made on Below the Belt. The, 
the lines are blurred for whatever reason because the because celebrity of, uh, like fighting right where people think like these fighters like fucking the smallest guy in the world like Henry Cejudo would beat the living shit out of Machine Gun Kelly. Well, like, you, take you don't down. realize the level these fighters are at. Oh yeah, but I, people he was a, he was a gold because, medalist because the lines are blurred. Yeah, because yeah, the celebrity yeah, yeah. thing, everyone's like, oh, Machine Gun Kelly's taller. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh my God. You have any idea double leg he right there. Do? Double leg. No, fuck wrestling. No, he'd knock them out, dude. What, even they don't, in the Cejudo would? Uh, anybody would. Anybody with any professional MMA? beat the shit out of him. Not even right, close. Right, Mop right, Mop the floor with his dog. Without the wrestling or grappling. Don't need any of it. Any of it. Connor's one of the greatest strikers we've ever had. But imagine if you added that into the mix. Doesn't that need would, to. He would walk just knock off, him out. Walk off home. But run. Henry Cejudo, he's near 125, Doesn't 130 matter. pounder. Doesn't he's a little matter. guy. Doesn't matter. How big is Machine Gun Kelly? He's, he's like, like six, six five. Three, like six one, five. How much does he weigh? One eighty. One eighty. Full of cocaine. Brandon. He's way bigger. It doesn't than matter. The See, that's the problem. Doesn't matter. See, this is the problem with Here, the common fan. Here's the thing, though. I'm, I, I agree with you, but a one hundred eighty, like he gonna get some hits in. No. No, you don't he think won't that, get one hit? Uh-uh. If they're not, but they're not. But Con- what about the Connor? reach advantage? No, wait, wait, they're not going to fight. Advantage. What I'm saying is this. We're not talking about a fight in the ring. We're I know. talking about we out in these street streets. Fight. Mm-hmm. I, I think that. Won't touch him. You don't think he's even going to hit him? Uh-uh. He, he, like, if, I guess if Connor like, grappled with him, like, you'd get like some rabbit punches yeah. in. Yeah. But he would throw a punch, Connor would slip, and boom. It was that left hand. He would knock it just, him out. It just depends on the, uh, the, also the resilience of the guy. Because I always say I'm not a fighter. But you better kill me. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm just like, I just feel like, you know, <laughs> fight for my life. I got to. Yeah, you're right. Look, if a 130 look, look pound stats, dude came right, at me. Brandon. Look, look, bro, 85%. You're bro, right. Bro, Machine you're Gun right. Kelly was talking shit and had bedazzled jewels on his jaw. <laughs> yeah. It's like, and I, and I like Machine Gun Kelly. He's in the hospital, Kelly. right? He'd break his jaw. Destroy him. Knock him oh, flat out. Fair enough. Yeah. But the reach doesn't count. Like, what if he went like, like just not, not when you're talking about a regular civilian. <laughs> okay. I'm just it's trying like, to play devil's advocate. What, what, this motherfucker. What, what are you? What are you, Neo? Is that what you got? <laughs> no, I'm just saying because he's a lengthy he's be like, guy. He's a lengthy Steve guy. Steve thinks he's in the Matrix. I don't play devil's advocate. He's a yeah. lengthy guy. It doesn't matter. He, he plays the guitar. What's going on here, Nate? This is the, that lady who submitted that. Yeah, just so you can bad. see some of her work. What is going on here? This yeah. is the person who just submitted. You got to go to Cleveland. That's her. Yep. Listen to, she's playing the thick voice, the anthem. Dude. That's not her. That's a thick voice. That's the same one? That's mm-hmm. her body. No stuff way. Like that. Yep. Really? Oh my god. She no can do it at the top. Yep. And spin around. <laughs> That singular got real tight all of a sudden. Leave <laughs> 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 him hold his yeah. dick. Yeah. You all right, Steve? <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. Hey, five inches yeah. my ass. <laughs> yeah, it is, dude. Okay. Don't look down. Put that fucking egg roll away, <laughs> dog. Yeah. Right. You smuggling egg rolls in your fucking singlet there, dog? You going at it over here, man. We got this a sausage party. <laughs> <laughs> this got real gay up in here, man. Oh, no. <laughs> Art, dude. I was I, as he's art watching, form. I'm like, why is he grabbing his dick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We need to leave you alone for a yeah. second. <laughs> you sure you don't have that black button in the car? You want to go make a trip real quick? Right. Okay, <laughs> guys. Eyes up I here. It. Yeah. <laughs> I'm composed. Damn, we can't put Stevie in a singlet. Damn, yeah. man. <laughs> I should wear this every week, huh? Yeah, no. No more yeah, onesies no, for you, no, Steve. No, <laughs> no more onesies. Or no more strippers. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Theo told well, me to bring up some points, so I took notes, so he called me this morning. Oh, bring, no. Yeah, yeah, because I don't want to forget Nick. He told me to ask you guys, how do I become one of the big dogs? What do you mean big dogs? You know, like what level you guys are on, you know. What, what? Yeah, level yeah. is that? Yeah. But you know, like That's, you know, you are a big dog. Thing. No, no, no. Ain't no. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Theo ain't fair. shit. Hold up. Look what he's trying yeah, to do. Yeah. That. You know what I mean? No. Theo's yeah. almost like he's over here almost saying, like, yeah, ask him how can we like how can I get a good girl or some shit yeah. like that? He's trying to like he's trying to clown us. That's yeah. what he's doing. Well, oh, is that psychological like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to do some psychological warfare. I didn't realize that. Is that but, what he's but, doing? But you get to our level. But You're you, like a you Trojan horse. But you don't do stand-up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I don't. I mean, if the you did, I'm helped. sure we could help. But Yeah. You tried, though. Steve did try yeah, to do stand-up for a, a second. Months. Yeah. yeah. What, did, what didn't you like about it? Well, I, I, I choked majorly uh, open up for Bob at the Tempe Improv. I already told this story. You open up for Bob at the Tempe Improv? Yeah. I that's choked, not a small room. I choked hard. But it was your first time. You're not supposed yeah. to be good. 
Steve, uh, Bob set you up for cowboy. failure. He knew. Yeah, Bob was like, have fun out there. Yeah, yeah. Like, what? Yeah. I've never done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tempe Improv? Yeah. And you just forgot your jokes and like... No, I did a whole cowboy rap thing. <laughs> and I oh, and then I was just... I didn't even acknowledge the crowd. I just went into my bit and then... Oh, you you didn't be like, hey, no, what's no, up? No, no, I didn't Everybody acknowledge them. I'm just like, oh my God, $40 bit or... For, you know, I was doing yeah. this little cowboy thing. And the MC had to rescue me from the stage. Did Bobby help you with your set? Was no. he like, yeah, do that? The, what happened is I went to the green room and the manager went up to Bob and said, yeah, the next two shows, your brother's out. And so Bob's like, dude, you, you, can, tr you can drive home, dude. You're, you're free to go. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went to Del Taco, got some tacos, and he, he texted my mom. So I got in a fight with my mom in the kitchen. Oh, wow. And she's like, what are you doing? Why, why you do that? I go, you don't know comedy, mom. <laughs> and, so, and, then I, and then later that night, I went into the room. My brother just knocked on the door, and he wanted to help me write jokes. And I'm like, I'm you don't understand my brand of comedy, dude. Yeah. I'm advanced. Yeah. You know, so I was really. Wow. Yeah, you don't take notes yeah, well. It's it stubborn. Like. <laughs> <laughs> <You're real> stubborn. <laughs> And that's actually still a problem. Yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> sounds like. No, I changed. He's like, get the fuck out of my room. No. You don't know comedy. Bob's hey, like, all right. You got into a big fight with you. I'm your... mindful. <laughs> Look at what him. are you talking about, man? And have you had any desire to go back on stage? Not really. I mean, we're doing, me and Jeremiah doing the podcast live event, I the guess. Moon Tower that's Fest? similar, yeah. but. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's I'm similar. looking forward to it. Yeah. yeah. Would you, but I think, I think he should do it again. 100%. Yeah, you know, you think I think you think so? should, and I, you should bring that same set. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, listen, that same thing. set with your new sensibility yeah. and make it work. That's the challenge. Yeah. I want that cowboy rap. And, and maybe don't do it in front of the giant sold out Tucson it was crowd. The, dude, it was sold out. You know like what? The, of course. The, oh, do you know it how at how I failed? You know how you, the green room is they in front laughing. of the club? Yeah. I had to walk by the audience members. You panicked? They didn't even look at me. <laughs> they just looked like. Uh, you know what the like, challenge is? Yeah. I challenged Theo to take Steve under his wing, under his wing, take him on one of those. Do a three minute set. One of those, uh, one of his shows, and have have Steve open for Theo. Yo, what's up? Since now, you want to, since you want to send him, that's how he can become a big dog. Yeah, Theo. Okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Huh? There you go. Why yeah. don't you help him be a big dog? Yeah. You the big dog. He means like big dog in like uh, podcasting. I don't know. It was very vague. Yeah, just he just a, he called. We talked for like a couple minutes. Like right I mean, when I woke up, you're doing it. He, you think so? Scissor look Bros, the, you're on here. This. People love you on here. Like you're doing it. He's like the master there's, manipulator. There's there's no, wait, wait, who's who's the manipulator? I am. Theo. No, Theo. with Theo's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he's, he's the puppet master. Yeah, he's like trying to puppet master some shit right here. Okay, so we <laughs> the challenge back. Yeah. Make Steve a big dog. Take him to yeah, one of your you, big shows. Why don't you take a shows. break from killing fish and get your ass on the show? How <laughs> yeah, about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, Back to King it or Sting it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Continue. Uh, this guy's got a King it or Sting it related to our discussion of engagements last week. All right. What's going on, you guys? This is Wyatt calling in from North Carolina. So, Brennan, Stevie, and Eric, I got a King it or Sting it for you guys. Hitting that proposal in front of that Culver's. King it or Sting it? Let me know. I don't know what Culver's is. Well, what is Culver's? It's a frozen custard burger oh, place. Right. Yeah, it's like and Sonic. From the up. looks of these two, this was right on point. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah, Nothing would make her no, happier. Yeah, this was like. Yeah. Does he have like a Bart Star jersey on? It's yeah. Ray Nitschke, actually. Hey, Nick, can you look that it's up? It's huge in Wisconsin. Yeah, Culver's. yeah. Where is Culver's? Where is it originated? Uh, Wisconsin. So this is what I'm so, saying. It looks like that might have been their first date. Yeah, place. this is their fit. Oh, yeah, this is like, okay. that's their thing. They oh, probably, so it's like In N Out Burger, but out there. Yeah, this is on brand. Yeah, it's a good brand for Yeah, he's in I would He's do. in a Packers jersey. I would do that. Yeah, it looks she like clearly just got a double double. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, no. He King had it. connects though. He got it on the marquee. That's oh, the <laughs> he did. So that's extra effort. Yeah, he went all out. I King have, it. Listen, I have no problem with King this. It. This is like it, it seems personal. Yeah, yeah it seems King like it. you know this what I mean. Right that's what it's all about. Yeah, yeah. King it. Yeah. What it about you, Brandon? Because you know what? It ain't about like some big gesture that we think is a big gesture. It's about him yeah. knowing his chick. And him knowing what make what what yeah, is comes, personal and it's from and his heart. Them, too. It's from, from his heart. heart. And yeah, him dressing up with that throwback Packers you know jersey, I mean? putting some camo cargo jersey on. pants yeah. on. Yeah, I like yeah. that. I like that. Personalized. You yeah, know, that's the what, so this is this is beautiful. It's a whole thing. 
I, mean, I feel the love in this. Dude. How, how, how did he get, get? How did he go over to the signage though? He's like, oh, let's check this out over here. Oh, the here. manager's probably yeah, his cousin. It. Yeah, he planned it. <laughs> yeah. This is planning, dude. He planned this out. Yeah. And maybe she's like Eric's fiance, and she keeps making him do different ones. Tomorrow yeah. they're at Arby's. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> they're hitting, they hitting a buffet. <laughs> <laughs> the next time it's the Monday Night Football game, <laughs> yeah. Packers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love. Hopefully this. Aaron Rodgers doesn't Ain't shit the bed for you. Nothing wrong with it. I like that. Love it. Love it. King it. Huge kick. King it. All right. I mentioned uh, we have another update from one of our fans, uh, BMI George, who started. That was uh, the big boy. He's trying to lose the weight? Yeah, oh, yeah. Remember, he wanted to wrestle you. No, he's my buddy. I like the kid. He's a good Dude, kid. I like your buddy I fought. Yeah. You still got to do a job. Okay. My, my quick question, though, I'm uh, Steve. Uh, is the chub gone? Or are you still h- hiding it? Like, cause you yeah, like if you be, had to yeah. wrestle right now, could you wrestle with that boner? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like if the teacher called you up to the front of the class, could yeah. you read without? Could you go like, sharpen your pencil Mike. in sixth grade? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm like, you're the phone. Oh man! <laughs> yeah, I'm making me blush. <laughs> you're making you're making us blush. Yeah, bro. You're, you're making <laughs> uncomfortable <laughs> for us. Yeah. yeah. You're the one in a uh, singlet this with a you with your boner, bro. Yeah, I can't even look over here when I'm wondering. Like, and then I just stare at the screen. Yeah, and then I see this like you know this sort of phallic symbol in front of you it's like this is the whole thing I see thing that fucking spring nightmare. roll in your pants dog. you shouldn't have shown me that video of the, the, the pole dancing she's bad I know, huh? but it's still going that huh? was badass she's, she's, you know, she's a bad you know it was yeah. badass keep sending him videos so Phoebe gets a bone. he's gonna need you to send that to him later he's and gonna... you know what real talk I didn't masturbate last night oh, okay well oh, there, there it is go. guys well there we go hello there we go <laughs> thank you let's hey, see George let's see what he's got there you go George hey Bubba's what's up Long time no see. Damn. Damn. Fucking. Is that Post Malone? It's been a journey. That's great. <laughs> June 1st, <laughs> I started this. Eric. 451. Bro. <laughs> Ever since then, with Brendan's inspiration and the rest of the crew, I freaking. I've just been kicking ass. Trying my best to at least. Fucking. <laughs> today's the day. Let's see what it says. Two six. Wow. He started out with three. What was he? Four fifty one. Holy wow. shit! Good Incredible. for him. Okay, here's the issue. There ain't no wait, issue. Wait, wait. That's progress. Uh-huh. Toenails hanging. Oh, two sixty. There you go. That's hundred and ninety pounds down. Hell yeah, dude. Come get you some, Stevie. You got. He lost two sixty. Of course, That's I challenge that little disgusting, greasy Stevie <laughs> freaking weed. Yep. Okay. I'm coming. Little days know you buddy. have a rock hard. <laughs> I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna hit you with a little, uh, uh, little uh, uh, something, something. You ain't even gonna understand. Damn, he has wrestling mats and shit. I'll see you soon, Bubba. I love you, buddy. Oh, I got love for him. We're gonna have a. Oh, oh shit! Oh. <laughs> Yes, the J's on. What's up, brother? What's up, you look great, man. Congrats, okay. dog. A lot of hard work, oh, man. Look at that. Looking great, brother. That's Looking fucking great. great, dude. Yeah. When'd you get in? I got in yesterday about eight in the morning. Nick, you son of a good. bitch. <laughs> Looking good. How you man. feeling, man? I'm feeling beautiful. So how are you doing it? Like, how did you? Keto like, kid, baby. Okay, so what, what keto is that? Kid? What is keto? Uh, no carbs, high no fat, sugar. Protein. Yeah, protein, fat. How do you not eat sugar though? Like honestly, you try really. You, yeah, you hard. really gotta. <laughs> you really gotta dial Isn't in. Isn't it about like not eating more? Like like the you know they say more sugar because like does that mean no fruit? Yeah, Certain for fruits, yeah. for I just don't do fruit at all because okay. obviously I got the BMI surgery, so my tummy's real tiny. What's a BMI? What is that? So that's when they take out a majority yeah. of your stomach. Uh huh. And they just make your stomach real small. Okay. And they take out the part of your stomach that produces the uh, I'm hungry hormone. Yeah. So it's like a hormonal surgery as well. Damn, okay. it's done wonders for you, man. You feel yeah. good? I feel great. I mean, most people aren't as you know young and energetic as me willing to kick ass like this. Yeah. Yeah. I've literally been working out six days a week. I've been, I haven't cheated Dedicated. at all. Good for you, man. Like, I like I know you don't try, but Brendan, you have literally just by being you and the human you are inspired me into really shaping like 
who I become as an adult and as a man. Like yes, I don't, man. I don't have a lot of male role models yeah. in my life. Man. Yeah. You're a badass, brother. Thank is this you. The hardest, badass, do you find that this is the hardest part now? Like, so you lost the 190 pounds. Yeah. When you look back on it, you go like, okay, you lost that. Now this is the part where it's like, how do you go from this part to the next part? Is that is, yeah. it, is it, that the challenge you feel? Like it right is a challenge because this is obviously a brand new body, and I still want to get a little lower. I'm still trying to kick ass. I'm I'm thinking two thirties sounds yes, really nice. Yep. Because yeah. I see like Tom Segura, he looks great at two thirty. He lost yep. a lot of weight, but on top of that, I have to put muscle into this freaking yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the hard <laughs> yeah. it, 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 it's, it's like the challenge to me it becomes like it's like there's one thing to lose weight and then mm -hmm. there's another thing to work on your physique yeah like those are two different things right very different thing 100 yeah, percent. yeah so it's like so then it's like now you're in that process of like trying to figure out okay so mm -hmm. i know how to lose weight but how do i you know yeah like because there's gonna have to be a time really soon that i adjust to more proteins and trying to pack on right, more right, muscle. Right. Yeah, put the muscle on. Start yeah. filling the body up. Mm -hmm. How did yeah. you discover uh, Theo and Brendan to begin with? Um, Like most young lost 16-year-olds, I watched the Joe Rogan podcast. Yep. <laughs> how, how, how old are you? <laughs> I'm 22 now. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so I, a lost soul and you yeah, found yeah, Joe yeah. Rogan. <laughs> you ever tried DMT? He's yeah. the male <laughs> Oprah, dog. You know, yes, like. literally. <laughs> You get some DMT. You get some DMT. <laughs> Everybody gets out. <laughs> Jamie, look that up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it started with that, and obviously the fight companions, which brought uh, Brendan and Brian Moore into it. And then when I saw that, I was like, "There's more than Joe Rogan podcast." Ha. Yep. Because you know. Yeah, there's Riffin' with Griffin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Thank you. There he is. Love this guy. <laughs> this guy's great. But uh, then I got really into the fighter and the kid, and you know, I don't know if you guys heard, but there was like something happened. One of the guests had to leave for a while, so <laughs> yeah. uh, Brendan was in. Time stamp that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was in that. <laughs> <laughs> he was Brendan was going through a lot in life, yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's when he brought like Mike Catherwood on. Yep. And when I saw Brendan and Mike together, and they got that's straight into guy. fitness talking to guy, him about yeah, it, yeah, I was yeah. like, "Oh, like the people I love and look up to and admire, like they're going through the same. They want Bre Brendan was two seventy one. He wanted to write it on his hand so yep. he didn't forget. Yep, mm, shit. yep. So when I'd reach for that cookie, I'd see that two seventy one. Like <laughs> no. Good for you. Yeah. I just saw. Listen, I just I know, saw all of this. But I, I am totally gonna understand what you're saying because, like, I'm 49 years old and I just I'm down in body fat in mm -hmm. the last like six months. I'm down 40 pounds in body well, fat. Why are you doing it? You know, but it's just you. Just, I'm just eating better. It's all but about like, it. it's all about that. You know, it's just. But I understand this. Like, I know how you feel in a sense of like, it's like, you know, we we ultimately want to be like, we just want to look good naked. Like that's. <laughs> Yep. Like that's really the yeah. goal, right? You know what I mean? I don't care what people say. Everybody's like that when they yep. when they when they get undressed. Get shower. When you get out of shower, you get undressed. You go in the shower. You look at yourself and you go, "God damn it!" <laughs> oh, you look at yourself? Yeah, that's motivation. You know, oh. and so I understand because I even feel like I feel like I know how this feel insecure. Mm -hmm. Even when you've lost all this weight, you still feel like you're like, "Damn it, I still want to work." And that's the hardest part. So, what keeps you motivated? Like, what keeps you like? Are there ever moments where you're like, "I don't want to do this," or like every what keeps day, you going, right? Every day, I work out six days a week. I have Damn. my friends Nico and Hunter. They literally, they, if I'm not feeling it, one of them is feeling it. If one of them not feeling it, I'm dragging us to it. Yep. This okay. is like are they big guys also. So, so no, they squad. are. They are very fit jacked. guys. Oh, so they trying to they, so they took you under the trying to calm down. Let's not say jack. And what's your family say about it? Is it supportive? Uh, my mom, she got the BMI surgery before me, so I watched her go through it with dieting. She cheats a lot on the diet, so yeah. you know she does. She's not where she wants to be, but she's miles ahead of where she is. Was. Your whole family big? Yeah, yeah. Besides, like my stepsister, but yeah, basically like heart problems, yeah. all that runs heavy in my. Good well, you, it's the man. only thing that runs in my family. We're starting a trend though. <laughs> They're gonna see you doing it, you know, and hopefully it motivates them. I really hope so. And even my fitter friends are becoming more fit, seeing the dedication. Oh, yeah. Inspiring them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like we're all building each other up and that's like the true meaning of fucking friendship right there yeah that's th and this is more um like this is the kind of body positivity i think that's important it's like 100 being yeah. real positive about making your body better 
That's what mm-hmm. the body positivity yes, should be. It's agreed. about being healthy. Because so then in terms of like your food intake and all that kind of stuff. So are you like, uh, but are you comfortable? Like, are, do you ever feel like, oh, I'm not, I don't, I, I haven't eaten what I want to eat. Are you like, do you have it? Um, you know, like you're I'm not torturing yourself. Before. No, no, no. Like I'm not. I. It's really. There's a lot of keto stuff that you can work around. Like. You know, when I got to town, I wanted to try fat burgers. So I got, like, mm-hmm. lettuce on, like, the lettuce, lettuce on the wrap, bottom. Yeah, 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 all yeah. that. There's stuff like that, which that's even a treat then, you yeah, know. Yeah, In-N-Out burger yet? No, I've never had oh, it. This is my take first time on it. Yeah, I got to take it there. Yeah, yeah. You but try. like this, you got to go like this. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you go like this. Make sure you don't have your erection, though, when you walk into In-N-Out. I feel like, I feel like this is WWF. What would their names be? Yeah. Yeah. Like, what would, they, what would their tag team partner name be? Like, that's what we got to find yeah, out. Yeah, the Bang Brothers, Clint, man. Clint and the Dick. <laughs> Earthquake and Clint Tsunami. And yeah. <laughs> that's dope. <laughs> Earthquake and Tsunami. The Intercontinental oh, Tag Team yeah. Champions of the World. The, the Natural Disaster. Disasters, baby. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a real t- tag team. Typhoon yeah, and earthquake. Is. Oh, really? Typhoon mm. and earthquake. That's yeah. nerd tugboat. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta be honest. This, 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 this dude, I am in you, you flew in from where? Uh, I f- flew in from Chicago. Oh, that's, that's, that's not cool. close. There's mm-hmm. only way, one, only one way to end this bad boy, and it's you getting your hands on him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, now he has God. an erection right now, but that'll go away. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> or it's gonna get bigger. Stevie, I brought you this. Thank you, it's brother. a participation medal. Oh, <laughs> you wait. Wow. You wait. Wow. <laughs> <Damn. laughs> we wow. have to race. <laughs> no, no. Well, after once we once we wrap, we'll get we'll go out there. Oh <laughs> my god. Yeah, this, okay. I love this Lord. man. Well, well we're so you. proud of you, yeah. man. You're uh, fucking real. killing it, dude. I really killing appreciate it. Yeah. it. I don't I really don't think you guys could understand the impact you have on my life literally we love it man. Uh yeah. and he said this is your first time on a plane? First time Holy ever shit. on an airplane? You know, I got to fly first class. That was pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. It, it was a small difference. <laughs> no, you should be flying first class. And, yeah. and uh, tell me I thought he's Theo, like, Theo just blew a gasket when he's listening to this. Theo's right like, what the Theo fuck? Like, he's what? watching. He's all, fuck, bro. Yeah, I, don't I have told any you, felonies. spirit, Nick. I don't have any felonies, so Theo can't give me any money. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I, wow. <laughs> Two guns. Man, did you bring him Theo? What participation is wrong here? <laughs> he doesn't participate. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, dude. <laughs> you gotta give Theo a wish you were here. <laughs> Timestamp that. You, got, you, got the, you missed out, trophy. <laughs> we upstairs. Oh, and tell me what happened when you went to the pier. Okay, so I got into town. I went straight to Santa Monica Pier because obviously Ocean Boulevard, you know, it's, it's the famous place to go. Yeah. I'm walking, I'm taking pictures, doing the tourist thing. And this homeless lady, you know, I don't, a lot of homeless, a lot of homeless here, yeah. walks up to me and looks at me and goes, you transgendered? Oh, And I'm like, oh, damn. <laughs> welcome to LA, bro. I don't know. I, I could be. <laughs> I just walked away. I was, oh, man. You transgender, <laughs> yo, I was like, no. Uh, I mean, because you, you got a cute ass face. Yeah, and that long hair. <laughs> my booty popping in this. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah so. were you in that singlet walking <laughs> yeah, down to Santa yeah, Monica? Yeah, yeah. yeah. like from the back, black dude's gonna walk up to you like, "What's up, girl?" <laughs> <laughs> you, you a CNA girl? God damn. You gonna turn around with the beard? They gonna be like, "God damn, <laughs> my bad." I we're ripping on Theo, but he was actually at his Netflix taping. Yeah, I went, oh, to, in Nashville? went to Nashville for the oh, Netflix. That's cool, my man. first ever comedy show to go that's see. That's a good one to go to, man. It was beautiful. Yeah. I got you know, I got to lead up meet a lot of the podcast, you know, community there. Oh nice, brother. Well, the guy next to me, he was talking, he was like, I love Theo, but I really like Burt Crasher. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, e- okay. Yeah. <laughs> did you get? Did you meet Theo or no? No, I didn't get to. I went to the first of the two shows, and I figured he had to. Yeah, he had to ready, tape the know. second one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's great. He man. was hoping some some ladies would have recognized. Him. Oh yeah, I was. Yeah, re- did you get recognized from the? I was hoping. I was walking around. I was, you know, tr- I was looking good. I had my new shirt on, the <laughs> shoes. You know, but if I did meet a, if I met a nice Nashville girl, sh- you know, I could have a little baby on the way. You, you, <laughs> Steve, Stevie's line. Yeah. Stevie's Dude, you're going to get some oh, Stevie, now, though. You, you're going to get some slide in your DMs now, man. Hopefully. hopefully. You will. Oh, for you sure. will. For sure. Don't you yeah. think, Nick, some ladies come out? Oh, definitely. We should definitely. start a dating mm-hmm. segment with him. For sure. Uh, yeah, Losing weight, boys, getting yeah, a girl. Dude. Have you had a girlfriend before? Yeah. I only had one long, like, one long-term girlfriend a couple years ago. But what, what happened? 
Uh, you know, I was 17, and yeah, when you're 17, bullshit. you think fucking the girl's the world, and yep. turns out not to be. Yep. Let's uh, see. <laughs> I, 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 I feel like there's more to that story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. yeah. much time, yeah. time we got? It's a yeah. lot. Uh, we'll, clo- we'll close out with one King it or Sting It. This might be an energy dropper uh, after after that, but we'll, we'll see what he says. Hey, Theo. Hey, Brandon. Got a King it or Sting It here. Zach, I'm from Michigan. Uh, unfortunately, I'm a Lions fan. You know, my dad was a big Lions fan growing up, so I carried the tradition. And now I have kids of my own. And uh, I just wanted to know if I should king it or sting it on uh, making them Lions fans. Should I jump on another bandwagon right now? Or should I remain a Lions fan? Sting it. Say gang gang, buzz buzz. Just tell them, I'm upstairs! <laughs> I'm upstairs! <laughs> cute. <laughs> oh, he's saying gang gang buzz buzz. So cute. Yeah. yeah, man, don't put that curse on them kids. <laughs> Become a Packers fan, a Bears fan. But like, live, there's but other they, teams. Did he say he lived in Michigan? <sighs> mm-hmm. Did he say? I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, but those kids don't have. They don't need that curse. They, they suck. Bro. They're never good. Yeah, but never. No, I, I but I think they should stay Detroit fans. Stay loyal. Yeah, because it, it will happen. It happens for every franchise. It's and never then, happened for Detroit. <laughs> but it will. <laughs> It will. I Maybe. bet you it does. Yeah, I hope you're the right. The kid's one years old. I mean, they, you got 18 years. They yep, got, yeah, but you don't want your one-year-old to grow up like just cheering for losers all the time. You yeah, know what but I'm they can go to the game. But they're always losing. So yeah, he's like, you, Dad, why don't we the, ever win? It's the experience of going to the game for and sure. being a part of that. For sure. You ever been to a game where your team wins all the time? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So that that basically does it. Um, I didn't want to say this in the beginning, but there was some breaking sad news. Uh, mm-hmm. Norm McDonald passed away. What? Yeah. what? Rest in peace. No I fucking him. way. From what? Uh, I I haven't seen him. Just getting oh, blown up. Um, I saw him. Uh, when did this happen? I saw him probably this morning, right before COVID at the comedy store. Yeah. I didn't know he was a degenerate gambler. He was like oh, telling wow. me what well, things to bet lot. on and shit. What? I was like, "What? We don't know a lot of things about." No, you have no idea. We, we don't know what's going God, on in their that's lives. Such a shame. But you know, well, R.I.P. to him. He was a great performer, legend. Just a legendary dude. And Saturday Night Live when he was on the, yeah. the news desk, legend. They even had that fun little show with him and uh, Adam Egit. They had that. I like, love that. You know, right? Well, My I'm favorite podcast. It, it was Norm McDonald Live, favorite podcast of all time. Like I might cry. Uh, they turned it into a Netflix show and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fucking. And so, uh, like you know, our, our heart goes out to his family <laughs> and and all the fans and all the people that have like watched him. You know, throughout the years, he's been a legend for so long. And you know, so we celebrate his life. And you know, uh, we we were glad that. We had the opportunity to oh, dude, even have a conversation, him. even though it was yeah. some terrible betting picks. I still love the dude, man. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah. a great a legend. Legend, man. Dude, he would tell stories how, like, he'd get his check from Saturday Night Live. He'd go from New York to at, uh, at uh, Atlantic City. Yeah, and he'd, he'd lose it in yeah, a week, hilarious. weekend. Hilarious. <laughs> dude, I, I've actually done that in Vegas. I'm playing a Vegas room, and I've lost the whatever money I was going to make. Night, <laughs> night one. Night one. But you're and playing I, like blackjack and shit, I right? find, No, I like to play craps. Oh, word. And then I find myself in the, like, then you, then I have to use that, uh, you know, the, the little card they give you to go to the, the employee buffet. Yeah. And I'm just in there like, <laughs> what am I <laughs> I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lose all my money. <laughs> I'll be at the Bud Light Event Center. That's right outside the arena where the Spurs play. It's not where the Spurs play. It's right outside it. Literally connected to it. Bud Light Event Center in San Antonio, Texas. One show Friday. One show Saturday. I got Derek Poston, Chappelle Lacey, our boy David Lucas. The oh, nice. squad's out there. My man, for you, if you want to come, I'll fly out. You'll be with Seriously? me in the green room. Yeah, I got you, man. For real? Yep. I'm gonna put you at the Emma Hotel. Fly out. Oh, You'll. Be- my. God, I would love yep. that. You'll yeah. hang out with the crew. Yeah, you get the full experience, man. You're going to be in coach yeah. middle seat, though, but you yeah. come in. You're flying, you're flying southwest. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. No, I got you. I got you. That's great. Yeah. I, and I'll be in Plan Boston. On. That's next Friday and Saturday. So if you want to come in just Friday or Saturday, we'll talk after the show. Okay. I got sure. you, brother. Dope. And uh, we're going to try to hook him up to go to the comedy store tonight, too. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Um, sweet. Eric Dates? Yeah, Boston, 23rd to the 25th. Laugh, 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 Boston. So check fun. that out. Yeah. Be fun. Stevie? Yeah. September 24th, Austin, Texas, for mm-hmm. the Moon Tower Comedy, Comedy Festival. Festival. Yeah. yeah. Scissor Bros. Yep. Yeah. Scissor Bros. Love it, man. You should do 15 minutes in the beginning, Stevie. <laughs> do that act. <laughs> that's how I start stand up. Well, we do live podcasts. I do 10 oh, minutes at top. Happened? Yep. That's how I got, oh, that's oh, how I got into it. I remember it. Brandon in the early years. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, tough. <laughs> tough. <laughs> tough. Yeah. Not Louis C.K. 10,000 L's tough, but tough. <laughs> 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 if you're bombing 10,000 in a row, it, this ain't for you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. 
But we love you guys, Theo. We miss you. My man, so goddamn proud of you. Yeah, Keep yeah, crushing. We'll Keep see you up. in San Antonio. Love you guys. Brendan and Theo, fighter and wait. I got to go in and go hard in the paint. I do not think I am in flow. Black Rifle Coffee, I'm ready to go. I need a sponsor. I am a monster. About to open up with this at my concerts. Flow is contagious. Brows are outrageous. Thicker than girls that are Instagram famous. Damn, hungry like I'm fresh off keto. Seeing red like Andrew Santino. Every song I hit like the great Bambino. Brendan ate the queso and the queso. Burritos, but everything's gonna be fine. Ay, hate on me, I do not mind. Ay, Theo looking like the type of dude that got a pack of matches in his pockets at all times. Yeah, they sliding into my DMs. A couple of you tried but couldn't beat them. Quit playing like Nintendo DS. You don't want the smoke like Joey Diaz. Uh, meaning y'all edible. Just got my eyebrows threaded and I'm feeling incredible. Brennan's son hit me up. He said it's too loud in the club. Can you pick me up? King and the sting. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Let's get it on. Yes, sir. Oh, look at Stevie. Stevie still got it. <laughs> Stevie still got it. Stevie still got it. Careful, careful, careful. Ah! <laughs> Damn. Oh, Let's oh, go, Stevie! CIF champ over yeah, here. You still got it, bro. You still got it! That was, yeah. that was a yeah. pretender series. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you, you told you he fucked Bobby up. <laughs> <laughs>